Okay, welcome to another episode of Aquas Kitchen. Um, today episode, we're gonna be making tomato beef, as you can see. And today we're gonna have a special, very special guest. I'm gonna introduce you to my master chef right now. My name is uh, Chef Boyardi. Monsieur and Mademoiselle, I will cook this uh, tomato beef. Are you ready, assistant? Yes, sir. <laughs> Actually, I was only kidding. <laughs> uh, my name is George Decay. <laughs> I just came off the, the set on Star Trek. <laughs> now, who am I today? You know, I have schizophrenia and I... And my name is what? Uh, Francois. Uh, Francois. Mm. Francois, yes. Francois Wong. Francois Wong. That's my name for today. And the um, we have tomato all prepared in such a wonderful dish for you, you see. And onions, if you like onions, but if you're allergic, you don't have to use onions. Or, of course, here we have, uh, yes, what is this, uh, a dildo? No, it's a... It's a uh, ginger, and of course uh, over here we have the um, black beans. It comes in a bag. It's very smelly, and when you cook, you better have good ventilation. And the steak, of course, <laughs> the best quality. I think he just bought it from Ralph's. Is it Ralph's? I, I would prefer filet mignon. Why did you not buy filet mignon today or New York cut or something? It's not in the budget or something? What's the matter with you? I'm sorry. Can I have your wallet? Um, I need to go buy some filet mignon now. Okay, go to the store. Get out of here. First of all, we will heat this in a high sizzling temperature. We'll add oil. This is vegetable oil. Sir, do you need me to cook this for you? Please. I am the chef. I do the cooking. Okay, I'm sorry. Go wash dishes. Huh. And so, now I think it is just about ready. First, a small bit here. We put that in. But I think I love, I love meat, don't you? A lot of meat. Oh, by the way, did you invite your friends to come to dinner tonight? I have my friends. Let's come over here and uh, friends, come over here and show yourself, will you? I have no friends. These are your yeah, friends. Come on over. What are we cooking, James? Uh, here, you stir it around. A lesson. And what is your name? Turn to the camera and introduce you to some people, please. Connie. Wonderful. You did a good job, sir. You get an A. Uh, would you uh, pour half of that black beans in here to give a taste, all right? And we're going to save the other half when the tomatoes get in there. And we're only going to cook it halfway through. We're not going to cook, thoroughly cook it. Why? We just want to get it brown right now. And set it aside. we put some more oil. You take whichever vegetable you think will take the longest to cook, you put that in first. If you dump everything in, it's going to overcook certain vegetables. So I would say the green pepper takes the longest. That goes in first. You want to stir that around a little bit? Why? The onions will be the second item. That looks good. Now push it to one side and put the oil on the bacon spot, please. Good, good, good. Now we put the rest of it in. The tomato takes the least of time. And we can put some of the ginger in there. And we put the rest of the ingredients in. 
green onion, and the ginger. Get it mixed up real good. Okay, in goes the beef. When you think the vegetables are just about done. There we go. Doesn't that look good? I mean, Yang can't even do better than this. Yang can cook. Yang can eat. All we can eat. All right. See how nice that looks? And now, let's put in um, the water to get the gravy going, all right? Maybe a little more. Oh, well, okay, that's maybe the whole thing then. I love gravy, don't you? Yeah. Now, we need a little salt. That's the last thing that goes in. You don't want it too salty, a little more. It depends how salty you want it. Older people should not eat too much salt. Maybe a little more. Alrighty, and that's enough of that, and some soy sauce. That's about it, huh? We can always have a chef taste it. Chef can be forgiven if he tastes it. It's boiling, so it'll kill all germs. I'll let you taste it. Oh! Mmm, very tasty. Need, need anything else? No, I think it's perfect. Yeah. Pour the starch, cornstarch mixed in with a little water there. Pour it in the center so we can keep stirring. Otherwise it will get lumpy like in a restaurant. They get lumpy Chinese gravy. I don't like that. I kind of like the way the ties do it. The ties have good consistent gravy. Keep stirring it and watch it. Keep stirring it, watch it, keep stirring it, watch it. That looks like it is about it. This is more or less what it looks like. Beef should be very good. Now we don't want to cook it much more but because then the beef will get tough. Mm. 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 Where's Francois with that food? Francois! Come with the dish, please! We are hungry! Ah, oh, that looks good. Anything else? Uh, no, that, that's it. Uh, Francois, why don't you sit and join us, all right? <laughs> What's up, please? You're on the date. Please sit down and bring the puppets. I want a puppet show. Big, you know, your mouth oh, is you? so tiny. How is it? Is it nom nom nom? Yes. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Glove? <laughs> Gluffy! Gluffy Dovey! Can you uh, sing and dance or something? I can do better. What? I can oh, do a little strip these. I'm kind of, kind of shy. I'm kind of shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming to another dish of Aquan's Kitchen. Um, don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Uh, follow us on Twitter, and uh, check us more episodes on abccube.com. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Get down, get down.